The wartime heroism of an American Air Force crew will finally be honored this year, 75 years after they sacrificed their lives for saving a group of English school children. We heard this plane coming over, and my friend said to me, he says, this plane doesn't sound right, I've never heard one like this. And when it came over, it was only one engine working. It was spitting oil. You could actually see daylight through the tail of this bomber. That's how bad it was. When he came over, he saw the green and thought, I've got a good chance of landing on here. One engine working, so it's not going to be revving. And uh, when he saw us on, of course, he decided to circle, hoping that when he got back, we would have gone. And we hadn't. When he came round again, which was a lot lower, the pilot went like that to us. And of course, Eight years old, we thought they were just waving, so we just waved back. He went round again, and this time he was just above the chimneys of the houses. That's how low he was. He got a choice to make. He could have landed on the green, or he could have died, because there's no way he would have got over these trees. And of course, we heard him rev, he went up, and the, the other engine failed and it dropped straight into, into the ground here. It will help them. This is for them. I mean, they will know, they will know that there's been a fly past. And how many other places can you say? You've got cenotaphs all over. They don't get, they're not going to get the treatment that these are going to get. You know, I mean, I. people know about these now and, and never known about them. Till five weeks ago, I used to stand here on my own and not see a soul. But I used to spend all my time with these. And this is what I do, still. And I'll love them to bits, and I will always love them to bits. They're not just heroes. You see, they could have saved the souls. I put myself in their place many a time and thought, now if I was wanting to land and there were children on, I would think to myself, well, I'll land and hope I don't hit them. I would never, ever dream of taking my own life like these did. You know, it's, I feel, and I've always felt, that I killed these. It's something I have always thought. I, I've always had guilt in my mind. And I don't know why I, I'm the only one out of the people who was on this park that feel the guilt. Tony, you were eight years old. I know, I know. But through the years, the guilt has built up and built up. And I put these before anything, anything. <laughs> it's not a memorial to me. This is what people don't understand. They are family to me. And I am having my ashes put behind the memorial. My family's already agreed to it. So I'm going to be with them forever. After five years of war, including German attacks on Sheffield's steel and armaments plants, the boys were accustomed to hearing planes and knew how to identify them. An ET had a report. 